Hi there, welcome to the first of our lockdown edition video clips as we try to get the information out to you, the public, on the Three Waters reforms that the councillors are going to have to make a decision on by the end of this year. Hmm, this time we're going to talk about wastewater. Now, most people generally don't think about wastewater. You yeah, flush your toilet, it goes away. So here's a bit of background locally. Seven of our towns in central Otago have wastewater plants which look after the wastewater. We're also doing a lot of building work presently in Clyde to get the commercial area of the town and a lot of the houses onto the Alexandra wastewater system. In fact, we're in pretty good shape under current regulations in the wastewater space in central Otago, but it's about to change. Remember in the last video clip I said with drinking water there wasn't much change with the regulation? Well, when it comes to wastewater, there is change coming our way. We don't know when, but we do know that it's not going to be all that far away, and we do need to start thinking about it now. The big change is that, as I mentioned previously, a lot of our treated waste goes into rivers and streams. About 92% of it goes into rivers and lakes. That's not going to be acceptable into the future. What's going to have to happen is we're going to have to change our plants in order to discharge to land, and that's going to be expensive. Across the country, the cost of fixing the drinking water problems that we have is around about six times less than the cost of treating the wastewater. While we don't have those numbers as solid for central Otago, there's no reason to think that wastewater isn't going to be the biggest challenge in the three water space ahead of us if we decide to not opt into the government reforms. Coming up next, we're going to have a look at stormwater.